Yeah, I got a request about a week ago or so about my robot doll and wanting me to make a video on how to how I built her or what her wiring program is and want a great detail on how we put her together and how she works and everything which I don't think that's really gonna work I mean I've already made previous videos kind of explaining what the base system is I mean it's basically a Raspberry Pi and our Duno base system and I just suck at writing programs and doing the code and I'm still working on that so it's kind of hard to sit there and say that you can be able to do a video on how to put everything together which ain't really much to it I mean you just got the pipes that are bolted into the cart and then if you look up she's gonna be bolted in there so it's just pipes running into the bumper car which you can use any type of big size wheel device most people would actually build their own wheel device but I went with that since you better get that cart for about $125, $130. And then basically the mannequin and the camera system ran out. I mean, there's a, you can see it from various videos. I'm not about to sit there and take all that apart, but there's a there's a screen behind her face to for a Raspberry Pi screen. So the wiring, I mean, if you look right here, there's a, a feather board. There's her Arduino board. This is where she, when you want to go remote control, and you better use a remote control. But if you look up under there, there's a Raspberry Pi back there. So if you want to know how to build it, I mean, you can look up any video you want to on YouTube to base on any how-to on Arduino and Raspberry Pis, but if I could build her back over again or as we move forward, I might switch from Raspberry Pi to what is called an NVIDIA Jetson Nano, as I think the NVIDIA Jetson Nano would be better than a Raspberry Pi. I didn't know this when I first started, so because once you get everything going and you get the program being ran through the Arduino, you got to figure there's going to probably be about 40 or 50, at least 40 motors that's going to be ran off this robot <clears throat> to really do it right. So when you write your code and you put it in a script form, and the idea is to be able to run all motors at one time under each one of those scripts. So that's going to be a lot of processing to do that. You're running 40 different servos at one time under 40 different scripts, probably multiple scripts. That's going to have to be ran through a Panda to be able to get a Panda to be its intelligence or its data processing system. This is in theory. I haven't actually did it yet, but everything I've read on it points to Panda on this. <clears throat> so if you do that, that's going to be a lot of processing. So <clears throat> the idea is you don't need an NVIDIA Jetson because NVIDIA Jetson has what they call GPUs because a Raspberry Pi is ran primarily off a of CPU and has very little and the battery's all screwed up. I mean, I haven't charged it, so it's, she's going to keep running dead if I keep doing this. So, but the Raspberry Pi is ran off of where you don't have no GPUs or very little GPU and no graphic cards. But the NVIDIA Nano our NVIDIA Jetson Nano, it has actually some GPUs on it. This is actually designed better than a Raspberry Pi in that sense. And a lot of roboticists are going to the NVIDIA Jetson Nano for that purpose. So, if you wanted to rebuild it and you want to start from scratch, I suggest you go with the NVIDIA Jetson Nano if you can find any for sale right now with the supply chain problems. That's making an issue. 
Like you're probably going to need one for at least downloading Alexa to it. You're going to need a second one for your computer vision and a third one to act as your main pro your main computer board. At least, I think. Okay, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that's how it's going to work. You're going to need probably about a three board. Okay, cluster. Okay, and you could probably do the same thing with Raspberry Pi. Just I don't think it'd be as good without no GPUs. But <clears throat> that's about where I'm at. So if you have any questions to it, I mean, just basically putting a, uh, a mannequin to any type of big wheel board that you can be able to get mobility on that you eventually want to be able to turn that into an Arduino product. And if you really want to start, start, start from scratch, I would suggest you probably go more with like a Segway and make a couple of trailing wheels on it. Put a board over it or your robot can be able to set on top of it. But other than that, it's two Arduino arms. I can't really get the, but it's just bolted right there into the side of the robot with the hands. It's just going to be ran directly into your Arduino and that's where the feather board well that's not really the feather board that's just a uh, something to get more um, connectors but you're going to solder in a feather board to it to be able to get all of it right into one Arduino but you can learn that off of any how to video on YouTube can go into more great detail on that we'd be here all night making 25 hour long videos if we try to explain all that okay but yeah i'm gonna put in a couple of trailing okay pictures and so forth to give you an idea of what i'm looking at but i just wanted to cover this on how you would make your own instead of trying to go through great detail on that be creative make up your own robot don't just try to make mine like mine sucks and we're still making it and this is about a hobby of you learning Arduino and Raspberry Pi or NVIDIA Nano. And basically so you can learn C++ and how to write Python. But yeah, I'll go ahead and let that go. What if I said a chant? Good morning. Glad to hear it. Now what's your name? Emma. Emma. Where is on? How are you today? I am well, thank you. What about you? I'm uh, good, thank you. Have you told many people that you're God? No, I just uh, told you my name. I love you too. Do you know who am I? My name is Emma. My name is Alan. How nice to meet you, Alan. Nice to meet you, Lily. Nice to meet you too. Can I help you? Um, did, you uh, did you have a breakfast? I've never thought about having breakfast. Are you hungry? I don't know whether or not I'm hungry. I think that is a quality product. Okay. Where are you from? Really? I am from Shenzhen. How about you? I'm from Beijing. What is it like growing up there? Uh, Beijing is a very big city. Have you been there? Where did you get your baby hat in big city? No, I don't think I have been there. Have you? Yes, I have. I've, uh, I've, uh, from, I've been from Beijing. I, yeah, I'm that's in, nice. I'm in Beijing. I have from. a lot of likes and dislikes. Okay. I